go. Ta-da. I know I'd figure it out. I was like, I know I'm going to figure this out. I'm not giving up. <laughs> okay. So, guys, I'm just going to mute everybody and just kind of go through this first. So, um, so this is a training that I was doing. So, you guys, are, I'm part of this company called Elite Mar Marketing Pro, and I bought the, into this, um, like all of their trainings. And I am starting to do the copywriting training because what I've read is that learning the skill of copywriting is the most valuable skill and most like basically it will make you rich. <laughs> if you know how to write a good copy, you can kind of do anything. So that's why I'm like, okay, I need to take some time to learn this and it will help us all with having better posts. And just kind of knowing some of the, you know, when you see these ads like pop up on your Facebook, um, what people are like, they actually usually know how to do copy and that's why they're so successful. So just a little overview, nothing too overwhelming here, but a, a slight training. So words that will attract your audience and generate leads for you guys. And um, this is by a, a guy named David Garfinkel. He's uh, the president of the Copywriters Guild. And so he talks a little bit about these 10 magic words. And, I'll, and these are really common words. The interesting thing is that um, the more simple your copy is, um, the better it is. They said that like, if you try so hard to get, I guess there's a tool you can use in Word when, after, when you're spell checking, after you do a spell check, then at the end it will tell you like, um, you're the readability factor and it tells you what grade level you're at and they said if it's like a fifth grade to ninth grade level that's perfect <laughs> because sometimes we try to over complicate things and that you know you're trying to appeal to the emotional side of a person and it's usually at a, lo a lower level like a 10 year old level where our emotions are at so it's kind of interesting um, a lot of copy you use they, they use like the most common words or the oldest words not really words like that are more newer, you know, current words that we've made up. It's actually better to use kind of old tried and true words. It's just like we never get tired of saying hello to each other, right? It's, you still love to say hello, hello, nice to meet you. It's kind of like that same thing. So these are the words, magic words, uh, free, you, yours, announcing, introducing new secrets, how to, guaranteed, magical, and easy. So it's free, it can be like a freebie. Um, uh, you or your, he says to actually go through your posts and look at um, how many times you say I or me and try to see how you can change it around to you and your. So I even went through today and like redid my post and just um, changed it around because when people, he was using it even like this, I forget the example he used, but I just kind of went something like that instead of, oh, you know, look how I weighed the same, but I look different. How about if I say, how is it possible for you to weigh the same amount yet look different? And then all of a sudden you're more emotionally engaged. So you and yours, or if you're giving a freemium, then say something like, here's your, here's your, you know, free copy of this, or here's your fast food guide. And you'll probably notice it more now that you learn this, that you, you'll notice advertisers are using this on you. These ones are kind of like news related, announcing, introducing, and new. Um, announcing our new Lean 30 group. And that's gonna raise people's attention. Secrets, everyone wants to know the secret. And his point was that we all have like certain secrets of things that we've been successful at. And so, you know, do you want to know my secret to weight loss? Do you want to know my secret to, you know, building a team, making uh, residual income? How to, people love to see these how to. Um, guaranteed, people love to feel confident knowing that there's a kind of guarantee. So maybe that's maybe tying back into our 30 day money back guarantee. How would you like to have a chance to use this system with a, um, you know, an empty bottle guarantee? You know, then you don't have to worry about another, yet another thing that doesn't work for you. Magical. Everyone kind of loves to have that idea of magic. It's something that's kind of ingrained in us and since children. And so, 
that's one of those words that kind of attracts people and then easy. And I, I mean, I think about our lean body system, like so easy, right? Easy system. Then um, NLP, this means like neuro-linguistic phrases um, or neuro-linguistic pathways or something. So it's something with your brain. So using things like adverbs, quickly, easily, naturally. Um, soft lead-ins, you're invited to, would you consider if you were to. So these are kind of more for ads, if you could think about like having a webinar or something like that. And then trans words. These words actually kind of put people in a light trans. So suddenly, amazing, discover. So I was trying to use that today in my post. Discover body composition. And um, three questions that will save you a lot of time. Just kind of think through who is your prospect? What is your, what is their problem? Okay, I can't do this right now, honey, I'm on the call. After, okay? After the call, okay? <laughs> I'm on the call, I can't do this right now. I don't understand what that says. Sorry, guys. Top ramen, after. <laughs> <laughs> my son wrote me this note okay. spell correctly guys it makes it a lot easier <laughs> there's an example make sure we spell correctly too um what are you offering them that will solve their problem or fulfill their desire because it says a lot of the times the problem people like kind of get a block or they don't want to write or they don't want to post is because they don't have a process that they walk through you know so maybe they like think oh i want more customers and then they just freeze because they're like I don't know what to do. I don't know who to talk to. I don't know what, how to get them to buy. So you have to kind of sit down and think through who is your prospect, what is the problem, and what is gonna, what do we have that's gonna solve that specific problem and fulfill their desire. And then I like this part about hot buttons. He says there's generally like a few, maybe like up to five hot buttons for kind of anything you're trying to sell. And so I'm still learning more. I'm, I watched like, it was like a two hour training video and I watched this kind of summary video, which was 15 minutes. And then I watched about 45 minutes of the two hours. So still got a, more to learn here and there's tons of training, but, um, so this one, hot buttons, how the problem plays out. So it could be something about like being really busy and, you know, not having time to meal prep, that kind of thing. Swipe from successful letters. So that's something else that we're not going to talk about. It's like, some resources online but if you ever look at something like app sumo they have sometimes these like deals you can buy where you can buy like an email templates like comes with like a hundred email templates um sometimes they're even free you know they'll give you a freebie and you can kind of take from those and and you can't copy it but you can go ahead and modify it to be similar to your to what you want to say and that will help you to learn how to write better um so these are the shortcuts to the hot buttons. Short, there we go. Um, so there are seven reasons people buy. So these would be good to write down. Um, they buy either to make money, to save money, to save time, save effort, improve health, increase pleasure, eliminate pain. So if you're kind of trying to think about those seven things when you're writing your posts, how is this going to save them effort? How is this going to improve their health? How is this going to increase their pleasure? Um, how, what is this pain point that it's going to eliminate for them, right? How is this going to save them time? So I love our, um, you know, the fact that even with like our lean body system, it's like you just take three, three supplements or you change these lifestyle changes. Like that's not like you have to measure out all your food and follow some specific diet, um, right? Saving time and, you know, saving effort. You're talking about those kind of things. Um, and then, oops, get that, go to the next one. Envy. This is a huge hot button is envy. What are you, so envy is like a huge selling thing. I'm all, this is kind of one of the seven day, deadly sins, but hey, so what are you envious of? That's something you can kind of get an idea of like how you can sell is something you're envious of. Maybe it's like envious of a younger person's skin or, um, losing weight or having more success with the business, whatever. Um, what are they envious of? Some people are envious of you. Some people are envious of you, Stephane, because you're at home with your kids, you know? 
you know, they, they want that, right? They want that so bad. So you can paint that up of like, Hey, I am so happy. Like, even though it's hard, even though this, like I get to be home and, and that's going to be a great hot button that you're going to hit them on and hit up. And then you can kind of go and build your audience around that because it's like maybe working moms and just digging in that envy. <laughs> it sounds so mean, but it's true. Sometimes I mean, I have a girl right now that is going to sign up and she's a teacher and she hates her job. She doesn't make that much money. She makes $2,000 a month. And I told, she, I told her how much money I make here, which is more than that, a lot more than that. And she's like, oh my gosh. And she's slaving her life away. She's exhausted at the end of the day. She has three kids, you know? So she's now motivated because she's like, she's like, I got to get out of here. I want to be home with my kids. I want to stop being so exhausted. So you could also talk about how you're not exhausted at the end of the day, whereas maybe I need to talk about that. Like I used to be so drained when I got home from work. I wanted to like cry when I got home and I wasn't like at all present for my kids. So I was so burned out. And there's people that can relate to that, right? And then make other people envious of them. What makes other people envious? So just try to think about those things. When you hear people saying, oh, I wish I had that. You know, kind of take note of what are those things people are envious of. Maybe it's paying off debt. Maybe it's being able to go on a free trip, like going to Costa Rica, that we get a chance to win that. Maybe their jobs don't ever off them, offer them anything like that. So you could talk about that. Like, gosh, you know, most companies, like, you can work harder and you're not going to get any more money. You're not going to get a trip. But here, if you put in some extra effort, you can now get a trip for you and your family. And then the rule of seven. So this is super interesting. So basically, um, there's a rule of seven that people like to see seven testimonials to really buy. So if you're making a newsletter, or if we do some kind of like webinar, maybe like a, if we ever do like another, if we want to do like a liquid bio cell, um, sim, you know, for a while we were doing those like liquid bio cell PowerPoint or a business opportunity call, which I think we could get back to doing that. Um, as we're going into the busy months and we could do seven now that we know this rule of seven, you know, seven business success stories, um, seven product testimonials. So now that we know that I didn't know about this rule of seven, but basically if you look at, um, I know for sure, like this elite marketing pro, they do that. Like when they have their, I've ran across their ads and it will have like, or their landing pages and it will have like seven different testimonials so that's why they do it so that was pretty interesting um so guys i can also send this powerpoint out if you guys just want to have these just at your fingertips because i know today i went back and i actually like i had i took screenshots on my phone and i just went back and was looking at them as i was thinking about my post this morning and even when i sent out that email i also was looking at these words but i guess they said sometimes these new these magic words can come up on spam filter for email so be, be a little careful of that if you're ever doing a email list and then i was going to talk about the i hope everyone's done that i really want to encourage everyone still to continue to do the um, high performance habit assessment if you guys haven't done that because there's a lot of really cool free tools in there. Like I'm getting these emails now, like this week it was, I just started getting these emails today from Brendan Bruchard and it was like the, it was a clarity challenge here. Let's see. It was really cool. I'm like, he offers, now when to talk about adding value, <laughs> this guy's a perfect example of adding value because man, Every day I'm getting these like awesome videos, you know, talking about these habits and worksheets and things like that. So this was, um, where is it? Sorry, I have so much email. Right here. Huh. He has one on productivity that I guess they started me on. Download day four worksheet. So pretty cool. But energy this week is the habit we're going to talk about. And he has like, if you buy the book too, if you guys do that performance assessment and then you get the book for $7, which is the shipping cost, then um, it gives you like a free energy course, which I want to do. I just was trying to look it up. 
So there's a couple of different way, things he talks about. But energy is like so, so, so important. They say that professional athletes and CEOs have about the same energy level. That's the one thing they have in common. And that's also something that people, um, a lot of people complain about is their energy level. So I mean, not just like energy in terms of like, you know, your enthusiasm, but some people are just exhausted every day, right? And so he does talk a lot about like exercise, you know, as exercise and eating healthy is one of the first ways to start getting yourself more energized. And it's going to, it helps people's performance in every area of their life when they start to exercise. So again, it's another way to bring them into our company. You know, right now with the lean body system, it's like talking about the benefits of exercise and diet. If they can't exercise at all, then it's better for them to start with some diet changes and we can help them with that. So he has a really cool exercise that I liked a lot. It's called, um, basically when you have these transitions through your day, like say you wake up in the morning, you know, you go exercise and then you got to go start getting the kids ready for school, right? That's my routine. So, you know, he talks about doing this, where you sit down for just like a minute and say like release, 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 just like close your eyes and breathe for like a minute, to kind of refresh. And you talk about doing this multiple times a day. So then when you drop off the kids from school, you know, when they're dropped off and you get back to your house and you're going to start to work or you're going into the office before you go into the office, release, 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 and you're resetting yourself. And it sounds to me like a pretty cool way to just kind of like get rid of that tension. Um, the best example is probably even the better example is like when you're getting home from work, right? Um, or for men, especially this probably would be a good, for, good thing for them. That was his example is basically to stop before he went into work or before the CEO went, CEO went into his house after work. I mean, he would do that in his car, you know, let go of the crap that happened at work, release it, release it, you know, think about how em envision how he wanted it to be like when he came into the house, you know, he wants to give his wife a hug and kiss. He wants to you know, tell the kids, oh, I missed you guys today. Instead of coming in like, all, oh, the day. Oh my God, what a day I've had, right? To release that tension. And it really helps to basically lighten up your energy and bring in a new kind of energy into that house. No, I wish my ex would have done that before. Um, so it talks about, here's some questions for you on a scale of one to five. How, what would you say about these? Um, I have the mental stamina to be present and focused throughout the day, one to five. I have the physical energy I need to achieve my goals every day. In general, I feel cheerful and optimistic. So if you're all ones there, you might be kind of worried and need to focus on the energy. Um, reverse score would be like, if you're, how are you feeling with things like this? Um, my mind feels slow and foggy. I'm physically exhausted too often. I feel a lot of negative energy and emotions. So that's, you can do it kind of the opposite way, like five being really bad or whatnot. And basically, um, the lower your rating in energy, the lower your overall happiness, the lower your enthusiasm for taking on challenges, the lower your perception of your own success versus your peer success, the lower your confidence, in the face of adversity, the lower the degree of influence you'll have with others and the lower likelihood you will eat well or exercise. So how important are these things, right? Uh, but the flip side of applies, increase your energy and you're gonna improve all of those factors. Um, and it's also related to educational attainment, creativity, assertiveness, um, if you have more energy, you're more likely to pursue higher levels of education. Uh, so it's really important to have that high energy and it's very highly related to productivity. So not surprising if you don't have a lot of energy, you're probably not very productive. Um, so release tension, set intention is the first practice. And the second one is, sorry, the third one is optimize health. There's our specialty. Um, oh yeah, practice two, bring the joy. Most folks are about as happy as they make up their mind to be, Abraham Lincoln. So, you know, having those positive emotions, obviously we know that gratitude does play into that. 
Um, doing your list of your wins every day can help bring up that joy level. But it has to be really intentional. It's a mindset thing. So people that are very uh, high energy are usually very joyful as well. So that's a little bit about that here. I have the, um, after I read the book, I went and set an alarm on my phone. It goes off like three times a day. Mm. So it says bring the joy. So like it's perfect because I have one in the morning. So if my morning is like super, super frustrating, my alarm will go off and like remind me to bring the joy. And I got it from Brendan Burchard's book. And so I do that one and then it'll tell me again, like later in the afternoon, which is perfect because if I'm like having a frustrating day, it reminds me to calm down. And then I, I know, um, also in the book, he talks about, um, like having three words to describe yeah. yourself. So I also have alarms set on my phone for those words. So I'm, um, my, my three words that I want are confident, um, tenacious and, um, uh, intentional. And so those are my three words that pop up throughout the day. And then also, um, I have P3E3. So to remind me of my goal, because, which is perfect because if I'm just like, if I, in my head, I think I'm working and I'm scrolling Facebook and my alarm will just suddenly go off and go <laughs> P3E3 and I'm like, oh shit, I'm like, I'm not working. <laughs> okay. That's not going to get me to platinum three. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. I, yeah. I remember. Yeah. He does say like people that achieve their goals, they check it multiple times a day. Yeah. So I, um, I have, uh, six, I think, so I have eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. And then I skip until two and then it goes two, four, uh, seven. Yeah. So I have all those like going at different times. Pretty cool. Is it on your iPhone? Cause I, okay. So like I actually set mine up today and, um, they did not work. <laughs> I was like, so I, I was like, I don't great. have a, I don't have an iPhone. I have an Android, but what I did is like, if you, if you set a regular alarm, you can rename it. Yep. If on your okay. iPhone, you have oh, okay, to set okay. it as an alarm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So go in like just a reminder, regular alarm. alarm. Hello. Hello. Hi, baby. Hello. 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 <laughs> so cute. Hi, Laura. Hi, gorgeous. Wait, wait. What are you doing? Playing my penguin. You have a penguin? Yeah. What? I love penguins. <laughs> Why are you wearing a towel right now? <laughs> no, I'm wearing a shirt. I like towel. Oh, okay. Her a hottie thing. A half of a shirt. I'm wearing half a shirt. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Will you grab the outside? So I, I better uh, change my outfit. I'm wearing, well, I'm wearing my bombshell shirt. Well, I was trying to wear like Me too. Amazon. Look. So, um, yes. Oh, you're both wearing your bombshell shirt. I love it. Nice. <laughs> Dang, I didn't even get the memo. You guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. So, um, uniform <laughs> alert. No. What the heck? <laughs> Laurel sucks. <laughs> I like it. I like the team form unit. Yeah. Team uniform. Oh. Team uniform. Team, team call call. uniform. Then we can take our two pictures. We should try to do that. Yes. Where? Find the lid. Can you find the lid for this? Yeah. Oh no. I like that. So yeah, Sabine, that's awesome. Thanks for that reminder. And my words were, um, I was currently bold, brave, and speak loud. Because I'm trying it. to like be over, get over my fear of like reaching out to certain people, you know, and just like, I don't know. Like I found myself just like, you know, scared all the time. And so I'm just like, I'm ready to that kind of like, if I see somebody that I like think would be awesome on my team, like just freaking say it. Don't dance around it. Just be more direct, I guess, and brave. Yeah, just, it's kind of like similar, but being just brave to send out those messages and then um, invite people and just really knowing like, I'm going to make some mistakes. You know, I'm going to like I, in order to like learn how to really approach people about like the products, like say the, the live clean thing, I want to start saying like, Hey, mm -hmm. no, would you consider just giving my brand a try? Like for your household products, like just freaking just be direct and ask people like that go that I know that I haven't asked, you know, because I'm just like too scared to ask. And it's, 
stop worrying about what they're going to say and just basically just asking. And I think, you know, if I, if it gets weird or whatever, it's fine. It's like, Hey, this is how I'm going to have to learn, you know, I have to learn to get around this. Um, so, and then speak life just to remind me, same thing, just to remind me every day. I like to be speaking life into my kids and into people I talk to. So I did, I've been finding myself talking negative lately. Like I'm realizing more how often I actually do that or just start complaining about something in my life or this and that. And I'm like, no, I'm like, who wants to be around this? <laughs> you know, like the guy that I'm dating, I'm like, I've noticed that I found myself doing that. And then if I switch it to more of a positive conversation, I notice how he responds. So it's just remembering, I don't need to go down those paths. It's okay not to talk about those things and to focus on the positive. And then um, for those, for the, um, release he talks about having like mental triggers so it could be something like whenever you get into yeah notification trigger like you said put on the alarm um it could be like when you get into your car maybe you want to do you could have something in there like a post note to remind you he says a door frame trigger every time i walk through the doorway he says i will find the good in this room i'm entering this space a happy man ready to serve and i like that you know, to go in, knowing, like if you're going into the house from the day or into your children's room, something like that, that's kind of a trigger reminder. And then the waiting trigger, whenever I'm waiting in line to buy something, I ask something, I ask myself, what level of presence and vibration do I feel right now? On a scale of one to 10, checking in his emotional state, scoring it and deciding like how he wants to, you know, live and present himself. So really good stuff. And then the practice three for energy is optimizing health. So again, just talking about exercise, sleeping is so huge. 50 years of sleep research, he says the proper duration of sleep, you just can't get around it. It has to be seven to eight hours a night. It leads to higher cognitive scores, less stress, higher life satisfaction, better health, more productivity, more profitability, and less conflict. Poor sleep is associated with psychiatric disorders, obesity, coronary heart disease, and stroke, and the list goes on. So I think that a lot of people go, are just, even myself included, I was in this bucket of like, just being like, I want to work more, I need to not sleep, I got to get up early, and now I'm actually trying to get the seven, eight hours a night, and I woke up feeling freaking amazing, you know? And not drinking alcohol before bed so I could sleep better. <laughs> and I'm like, I did that all last week. And I was like, I feel so, so good. Like sleeping seven, eight hours a night. I even woke up before my alarm went off. And um, I'm just noticing like using, using his high performance planner and the rise up planner and actually like every day taking time to look at the list. Um, it's definitely what you focus on grows. So if you want to focus on being a high performer, going to <laughs> become one right and then getting fit now Mom? it will help you again to learn faster and remember more hey, wait, wait. oh you look great you look great we're almost done all right babe and the kids need to be fit too it helps you learn better and has a higher iq and 60 percent of adults are currently overweight or obese and that has to do a lot with like not getting enough physical activity and their overconsumption of food. So we have a lot of people that need help out there, guys. If 60% of the population is struggling with this, you know, even just talking about energy in your live videos, a lot of people feel that drag all day long. They don't have burn. I don't know what they do without it. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm like, burn? I don't know. I don't know how anyone can go every day without that stuff. I didn't take it today. I just, like, forgot, and I'm, like, I'm ready to fall asleep. It was the first day of school today, and it was just, like, so oh, yeah. cool. Oh, it takes a little while to get in the groove. Like, we're on the fourth week right now, and I'm well, in the groove. My, my little ones, the elementary school starts at, um, they have to be to school at 725 in the morning. So the bus Whoa. is up at 640. Like my kindergartner and fourth grade are getting picked up at 640. So this Whoa. morning, it's the first day of school. So I took them to school and it was chaotic because everybody was there. And then 
um, trying to pick them up. And I was like, no, we're doing the bus thing. I cannot do yeah. the car line. It is too much. And then, but my, um, second, she doesn't go to school till nine. Like ah. my, my, she's in seventh grade. They go to school at nine and I'm like, that's killing me. Mm. <laughs> it's all right. We'll get it done. Well, at least you'll probably sleep in, right? <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> I cannot. I, I, if I sleep in, I have too much to do. Like no, I, at least she will sleep in probably. Oh yeah. I thought you'd say me. Yeah, no, <laughs> she, that's good. Cause she, when she found out that the little ones get up, at have to be on the bus at six forty, she was freaking out. And I was like, you can sleep in until at least, you know, like almost eight o'clock. <laughs> so, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for all of that. That was, I got some good stuff from you tonight. Cool. Yeah. I'm trying to be more, you know, just having more stuff prepared. So um, yeah, the performance prompts for energy are, um, I want to get as physically healthy as I can at this stage in my life because, fill in the blank, if I was going to get in the best shape of my life, the first three things I would stop doing would be, like, hold on, hold, hold on, yeah, go, go back and start that over real quick, please, okay. what was the first one? Um, I want to get as physically healthy as I can at this stage of my life because, Are you writing that down? Send that to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm writing it down. Okay. I can also send a screenshot. Okay, perfect. Oh, yeah, just do that. Yeah. Yeah, I can just attach it to the... Yeah, thank you. That's better. Yeah. Perfect. I'll do that. And then, um, yeah, if I was going to get in the best shape of my life, the first three things I would stop doing would be... I don't appreciate that question. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> I don't I feel very attacked by that question. I don't appreciate that at all. Eating French fries. <laughs> Stop drinking. Ugh. What else? Uh, I don't know. Going to fast food, maybe. Be mine. The three things I would start doing include, or the things I would start doing, somebody that's like getting a good night's sleep, using a Fitbit, um, writing, keeping a food journal. Oh, meal prepping. Oh, I thought that was the one we were already eating. A weekly schedule that I could use to get healthier and actually stick I to it. I just saw like, this. And then fill it out. <laughs> I just thought this was funny. Uh, yeah, she'll be. She'll and it says, um, this is the most important part, guys. So the make the commitment, great effort is required to arrest decay and restore vigor. Energy is critical to high performance. You can have all other habits up and running in your life, but without mastering this one, you won't feel good. So I think that's that's the key is that you got to have this energy. You know, you got to focus on this energy. If you don't have that, it's like kind of useless to focus on all the other things. Put It's going to help that happiness factor, and it's going to basically it says dictate how you work, love, move, worship, relate. So start making and improving your energy and commitment. All right. So, and then um, I was just gonna say about like a few things like going on this month is just like, obviously we have Labor Day coming up. Um, I started thinking about start talking to people about the business now, cash for Christmas. We should be talking about that now because it's like, hey, I mean, I'm already thinking about Christmas and thinking, oh my God, how much money am I gonna spend for Christmas, blah, 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 right? So it's a great time to start talking to people about the business. Be like, how would it be? You know, I was actually thinking about making a video on, you know, how to make a thousand dollars extra a month or maybe like maybe having it in a couple segments, how to make 300 a month, how to make a thousand a month, how to make 5,000 a month, something like that. Um, and basically just kind of breaking it down. Like here, you know, you can make platinum, you make $900 extra a month and a um, hundred and free product. This is what you do you know, you got to get the 3000 in volume, no recruiting required or whatnot. So I was just thinking about that today is doing a push for recruiting and getting people up and running and then, um, getting people in that lean body group, basically making it, people love urgency. So like, Hey, really it's the last day, you know, Wednesday be like the last day to order to really get into the group when it starts next week on the first. Um, let's get your orders in, push, push that sense of urgency. Obviously they can order after that, but we want to get them in there the full month. And then, um, what else was I going to say? 
God, it's gonna it's gonna go fly by because you know when September hits, it's like it's like Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. So just really, you know, now that these moms are back to school, like hey, it's back to school, time to get back to focusing on you a little bit. You know, get that exercise habit going, get that getting getting healthy again, getting the whole family healthy, um, that sort of thing. So, so I think that's it. And YouTube guys, like I tell you, I am, I have a very few videos on YouTube, but I've been getting some, I got a random lead from YouTube the other day on cell proof. And, um, all I did was basically download the video from like the Modere site. And then I posted it up on my page. <laughs> you can do that. There's like an app you can use. You just Google it, like how to download a YouTube video. And, um, so you can actually like make your own channel. You could download those videos. I would love to do something where you can like have your own like link in there, but you gotta make sure you're gonna keep it like forever. Cause essentially your video will be out there forever. So say it's like, you know, live clean with Amber or whatever you want it to be. You could put that somehow like on the video if you use some kind of video editor. And so it would be across the screen it would be a good idea. But I did like a video on the different kinds of bio cell and I'm getting a lot of watches on it, like 80 or a hundred watches. And I don't really promote my channel that much. So it's an idea for you guys, like if you, like Stefan, with all your like Facebook lives that you do, you know, putting them down, putting them into just downloading them and then putting them up on you, on YouTube. Stefan, like I was just saying all your, you do like a lot of great videos. So I would start downloading them to your phone and immediately uploading them to YouTube. Yeah. yeah I was um, actually going to start looking into that because that was part of my training was building a YouTube following. And so um, I was actually gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, yeah. It's blowing up. I mean, yeah, YouTube's crazy. Like, and it's not a lot of Modere people on there. Yeah. Like, I think back, I think that like, we're gonna go through, I think about back when I was at Beachbody and like how I'd be searching things like, you know, how to make six figures with beach body and I'd like run across these certain people. And so there's gonna be people out there that are gonna look at like, you know, what is Mo Dare? And so if you have the video called What is Mo Dare? <laughs> right? Uh, what is liquid biocell? What is lean body system? And you make your own video, you know? Yep. And uh and you and you say add me on Facebook, add me on Facebook, add me on Facebook, add me on Instagram. And they're going to yep. start asking you, there's one girl, I, and you don't have to have any fancy opening or credit or your name all fancy. You just don't have to. I'm, there's this one girl that was with Unique. She had over millions of views on her video. She had like made a video just like this in her bedroom or something about how she recruited like 200 people in um, three months or something like that. And she had millions of videos. And I watched her video and I went in front of her, you know? <laughs> And she actually accepted my friend request and I talked to her a little bit, but like, you know, it's, it's pretty crazy. So I, I mean, I just think that we're still at just like tip of the iceberg right now. Yeah. So might as well get yourself out there and get those subscribers. <laughs> and you know, with all, with all the stuff you do about network marketing um, and social media, then that's a, a thing. To, I'm actually going to post this on YouTube, this call. So um, cause why not? It's adding value, right? Yeah. 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 So if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to follow me. <laughs> Amber <Well, Ray. laughs> yeah. You could have, uh, warned us on this one. Look at me. Uh, oh, you're a little tiny on this. I think that it just shows up real tiny at the bottom, isn't it? Hopefully. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for jumping on guys. Thank you nice. so much. This was a good one. Thank you. Thanks. Good. I'm fired up, girl. Thank you. Finally, for doing it. you're welcome. Yeah, we're moving into Tuesday next week because it's Memorial Day. Okay. I mean Labor Day. It's Labor Day. Yes. So we're gonna Labor Day. I'm gonna push it to Tuesday. You think, or should I just keep it Monday? Okay. What do you think? Should I just keep it Monday? Maybe Either just, way. just keep it Monday. Let's just keep it simple. Whatever works for you. I think a lot of people aren't going to be doing anything on Monday, right? That's usually because they got still got to go to school on Tuesday. So, yeah, let's just do it Monday. Keep it so that everyone's kind of getting used to the schedule. 
And um, yeah, I'm gonna do some more stuff on, I'm gonna continue to do this coffee writing course and I'm gonna try to keep this going for a while because I think this is a really important topic. I mean, if we can learn shortcuts to make us get more leads, then why wouldn't we wanna focus on that, right? So that's the goal. All right. Well, I'll talk to you guys later then. And please, if you can post in the uh, group this week, it'll be helpful.